In this video, we'll write the Lewis structure for CaCO3, that's calcium carbonate. Calcium carbonate is an ionic compound. You have a metal and then you have some nonmetals here. Because of that, the metal, it's going to lose its electrons or transfer its electrons to the nonmetals. So when we write the Lewis structure, we need to take that into account. So for calcium, we can write Ca, and calcium is in group two on the periodic table. It has a two plus charge. And we really should put some brackets around it to make it into a correct Lewis structure. So that's the calcium and the calcium carbonate. The carbonate, that has a negative two charge. It's called the carbonate ion, CO3. And we'll put the Lewis structure for that up right here. And that's what our Lewis structure for the carbonate ion looks like. Because they're nonmetals, we have these electrons being shared between atoms to form chemical bonds. And again, we should put brackets around this because the carbonate ion has a two minus charge. If you'd like a more detailed explanation of how I came up with this Lewis structure, there's a link in the description. So this is the Lewis structure for calcium carbonate. We write the structure this way because it's ionic, because the calcium, which normally has two valence electrons, has transferred these electrons to the carbonate. That is what allowed us to write the full Lewis structure. Because of that, you have this two plus and this two minus. They're opposite charges and they attract, and that's what forms that ionic bond. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for calcium carbonate, CaCO3, and thanks for watching.